Hey everybody, welcome back to IP Farms. Well, it's another beautiful day here on the farm. A little overcast, nothing major, but it's warm. Uh, they're calling for some rain and storms after a while, so we're going to utilize some time outside to see if we can get some things accomplished. Um, the walk I did the other day uh, really stirred up some coals in my mind, and uh, I've got uh, a strategic plan uh, back there somewhere in my mind. I don't know that it's going to pan out, but we're going to give it some effort. Um, one thing I have figured out that I'm spending entirely too much time and effort on one single project, trying to get it accomplished and get it finished. And what in turn that's doing is really burning me out on it. You know, my ultimate goal, all you guys know, is to put crops in the ground and working on trucks and turning wrenches and driving nails and stuff. You know, that's all stuff that has to be done for the farm and to reclaim, but it's just not my cup of tea nonstop. So anyway, here's the disc plow. We're gonna do a little bit of work on it today. I'll tell you a few things as we go along. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I'll put a couple cards up uh, for some older videos. They are a little bit cringy, but maybe it'll make a little bit more sense. And uh, ran into some issues with this when we used it. Um, tried to use it rather many months ago. And uh, I've talked to a lot of people and got a lot of information. And I put a plan together. So I brought it up here to work on it. It's been sitting here in the yard for several months. So we're going to give it some attention. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to do these videos half the time when I'm working on something without babbling and trying to explain it all. We're going to do the best we can with it. Um, the issue I have is the, the plow is sitting unlevel. Um, I re-welded this top brace a long time ago because it was bent. It had a bunch of adjustment holes in it. I uh, didn't realize that those were what they were for and they're actually to adjust it so that you know you get your plow set to level if you want to pitch the front down or back, whatever. But uh, I welded that up solid and then here's the rod that is factory in here so there's no adjustment here at all you've got your handle up there that lowers and raises i'll show you that in a minute but uh when i brought this thing up here i had a viewer mr chris uh with dehaven family farm uh suggest putting a top link here as an adjustment i was going to cut that rod and move it you know re-weld it or whatever but we found this uh don't tell anybody this is actually off the oliver uh it's the three point uh not top link but side link i guess you would say and ironically, it's gonna work really, really good. Uh, everything's gonna work out. The spacer, I gotta put a few spacers up here. I think I'm still gonna have some adjustment on my handle. So I've got the plow sitting where it needs to be right now. So we're gonna get some spacers in there and put the bolts in. And then that'll give me an adjustment up here and adjustment back there. Once I get this bolted up, then I'll bring you guys back and show you what I'm talking about as far as how it raises everything up and down. pretty good uh, it's gonna work it's a little aggravating you know this is just this close there but we've got a range of motion and what this does on this pivot you can see the shaft here it pulls the the, the body of the plow up and down and of course it's spring loaded and all that is by the hitch I mean the handle adjustment of there rather uh, like going to the field you know you raise that up and you can control the depth down with that but I needed the plow level so this will give me ample opportunity for fine tune adjustment. I think everything will work out. I've just got some washers in there for right now. Like I said, once I get it in the dirt uh, and try it again, we'll see how that goes. Um, but I believe that'll work. Uh, I'll take you around here and show you what I'm talking about, how it moves, or maybe I'll just set the camera up and let you watch the disc uh, and see. But when I took it loose, uh, I had to manually push down on the plow body <clears throat> and the disc are about the same distance off the ground right now. So. I've got it pretty much set where I need it right now. Of course, you can lock it down here and uh, then we'll raise the body up and down. And I believe that might take care of one of the major issues. Uh, just something simple as taking a few cotter pins out and putting this uh, top link in there. Of course, now I have to buy one to replace the one on the Oliver, either buy one for this, but okay. I don't really know if you can see that in the camera or not, but uh, the handle's up here. And like I said, you just pull it and then you can see the body of the uh, plow raise up. So like that would be the top. You know, that's about how it was sitting before. Now I've still got to go in the back and run the adjustment up there. So, uh, but with the back all the way down, which I have it right now. And then if I let this completely down like so, then that puts my disc back where everything's level. Let me show you the back. 
all right we'll try this and see uh the handle crank here like i said i don't know if you can see it's a lot slower than the front you can see the bike going up um so i've got a lot to learn still about the you know fine tuning adjustments of how you want to run them but at least right now at the lowest point or the highest point they're going to be uh pretty much level cutting the same um and i think that was a big issue like i said prior um, so we're going to run this all the way back down and i've got the front set up there with the top link so let's move on to the next issue and i'll show you a little bit about that but this basically moves this up and down uh the same way it does in the front it's just all kinds of joints and bends and uh, connections i guess you would say that do that but uh I'll tell you another little interesting tidbit about this plow here in a second that i found out maybe wrong maybe right but i think i'm pretty close all right that's all the way back down i love it when a plan comes together um that worked out great okay showed you guys the deal uh the hydraulic conversion um basically does the same thing as the trip mechanism this is a repeat for some of you guys that lowers the disc plow to the ground and then you fine tune your depth with the front handle there it's got uh several notches in it there and then i showed you the back handle up and down so they would never i could never get the plow disc sitting level because of that top brace so uh you know cousin scott scott at scott small farming things brought that up to me a long time ago when i posted this video because the pieces of angle overlap and it had a bunch of bolt holes in it and that was your adjustment right there um to keep you know your plow doing this and when i took that away and i showed you the hard piece up here then it was all out of whack so ironically that top link is going to give me even more adjustment than i probably have with the bolt holes and it'll be a whole lot easier you know crank in the back and a crank up front let me show you one last issue we've got to address here and we'll move on to something else well last but certainly not least is the hitch itself i'm gonna put my finger in the screen again center line of the plow is about right here and you can see how far off the hitch is um i messed with that last year when uh I tried to put it in the dirt and got so aggravated about it but i really think we solved that problem today by getting the disc level and getting the adjustments back so i can raise and lower and set my depth the way i need to um so we've got to get this back halfway <laughs> right i've got a lot of information on it i've got to do some more uh tinkering and unbolting and situating uh this is going to go behind the 1086 uh i was going to pull it with oliver but due to the fact i didn't get the clutch in I'm not going to stress it out anymore, so we're just going to keep it with a big tractor. We've got to get it out of hibernation, probably get a video on that, and uh, get it back going, service it up. Uh, I've got one small thing here to do uh, to the hitch itself. Besides adjustment, I've got to build another clevis for this. It's broken right there. Um, I've got a few notes on that on a piece of paper. I've just got to put it down on metal now. So uh, definitely stay tuned, guys. Um, we're going to get this plow on the ground uh before too much longer i mean i'm not talking about months and months i'm talking about pretty soon uh, i need it uh i need to put something in the ground that's my somewhat game plan i'm not going to divulge a whole lot of it right now but just know this that this plow is going to be a huge part of it so if you're interested in seeing this whole thing turn some soil definitely stay tuned i really believe we've got it licked this time you know all the hydraulic conversion everything went great uh didn't have any issues there just got to get everything adjusted this is a this is a craftsman plow i believe if you would say I mean, it takes a takes a true true craftsman to get it adjusted and i don't know that i'm gonna get it perfect but we're gonna have it a lot better than it was that being said thank you everybody till next time